Greetings, YouTubers. Welcome back on this cold, dark January night. As always, we're going to be talking some horror comics tonight. And uh, <clears throat> actually, exclusively, we're going to be talking about this. Insane Tales from the Dead. Number three. Now, me personally, I grew up in the 1970s. And when it came to horror comics, I grew up with stuff like DC's Unexpected and later on in the early 80s, PC's Twisted Tales. So I grew up on horror anthologies, short stories. That's where my heart is in horror comics. Even today, when I go to a show, I go to a con, I'm looking for not necessarily The Walking Dead or these, you know, ongoing character driven story arcs that today's creators kind of put out hmm, maybe in hopes that Hollywood will come calling and make them rich. No, I'm not into that, man. I'm into good old-fashioned horror short stories. Stuff that you can read in a matter of minutes. Gives you a little thrill. You put it away. So, that's what this is. Okay? I wish there was more of these type of books out there today. Um... This is by Caustic Comics. They have an online presence. So you can find them on Facebook. And I think they have their own website. As, as well as Insane Tales from the Dead itself has its own Facebook page. Um, the first two issues were pretty much the brainchild of one Doug Rendezzo. And Doug, forgive me if I mispronounce your last name. I too have a tough to pronounce last name, so I feel your pain. Um... There were a couple other contributors like uh, Silvano Caligari and uh, John Schumacher. And uh, forgive me if I've forgotten anyone else on the first couple. But uh, what Doug did for the third issue, it is hands down the best one yet. Which arguably, okay, maybe it should be because like the more you do stuff, the better it should get every time, right? But what Doug had the genius to do this time around was, if you see here on the cover, this is such a nice touch. He lists all the contributors this issue. And there's a lot of them. And I think by bringing in other um, creative input, that is what really made this issue the best. Now, Doug wrote every story in here, but he didn't illustrate every story. Um, and, and not to get off track, but a little about Doug. I don't know him personally. He's one of those people that I met sort of online, you know, this 21st century friend kind of thing through social media. We did a trade. I think I gave him some Skywall mags for the uh, first couple issues of Insane Tales from the Dead. And um, he's a good guy. Uh, from what everything I can tell, you know, he's a very creative individual. I think he's a musician in, in a band as well. And um, his stories then also can reflect that. Like some of his writing, the stories are very almost poetic, musical. Um, not your traditional story arc. Um, now, some of them are. There's a story in here. Uh, oh, here, I want you guys to see this before before I... I'm sorry, this is not scripted. I just kind of ramble on. Autographed by Anne Tadishi, an artist in this issue. Um, John Schumacher, another artist, and Doug himself, a writer and artist. And if you look, this on the back here... Um, 17 out of 50 it's hand numbered so there's only 50 copies of this particular print with this color cover with this beautiful elegant very delicate line work uh, by uh, Mortuus Art I believe this literally brought a smile to my face and I'm not gonna lie people I mean I laughed maybe you know giggled a little bit when I opened this up because I was sort of suffering from those uh call them post-holiday blues, and then this comes in the mail. Um, there is some of Aunt Tadishi's art. And, and again, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. Now, Doug's art is kind of grounded, I think, in my opinion, in like the 1970s sort of underground comics. Um, now, this is art by Nikos Malk. When the Devil Walked in Dower, based on true events. Look, look at that, though. Look at that. Nikos has some really good line work. One of my favorites in this issue. Um, 
Now, I'm not going to review every story in here. I like to leave that little element of surprise for you guys if you pick this up, which you should, okay? That's the bottom line of this review. You should buy this. Look Doug and Caustic Comics up and buy this. There are plenty of other presences in here, people who I've met online, um, like Brian Postman, who also has work in the Creeps magazine. Um, Eric Rott, who's a pretty uh, hilarious online presence. If you're a, a friend of his on Facebook, he has some whacked out posts that I just love. They make me laugh. I think this is Brian Postman here. But, but hands down, my favorite this issue I want to show you, and, and this is, I'm, I'm sorry to play favorites here, but man, this guy, I can't get enough of his work. Um, Silvano Caligari. Look at this guy's stuff. He just, just nice line work. Um, and again, this is all written by Doug, but not every story illustrated by him. Silvano, man. Great work. Now, I don't want to drag this out too long, but really, almost half of the book, or three quarters of the book anyway, has a really cool thing. Doug did like an artist gallery where all kinds of artists are sending their stuff in, and it has their contacts on there. You know, so who's this? Frank Casuto at casutoillustrations.com doing that. And this one over here is Carl Dahmer, Facebook.com, Dahmer Art. So there is a whole slew of artists in here, in the back, doing, you know, one-page pictures. So anyway, if you're a horror comics fan, and in particular, a fan of anthologies, like going back to the 50s, like Tales from the Crypt, on up through the 60s with like Warren's Creepy etc etc you need to pick this up and support this you know there's just not enough of this kind of stuff out there and like I said this is out of the three offerings so far by it's by far hands down the best I love it Doug keep up the great work and man I just I just hope that they even get better than this in the future it's looking good man just keep it up so that's all I got for you today, fiends. Go out and buy this. It's got my highest recommendation. And uh, we'll talk again later, creeps.